Chapter 2 Adaptation in Plants Important Terms Adaptation Adjustment Wax Jelly-like substance Repel To push back Submerged Plunge underwater Encourage Process of keeping things Trip To activate at one place Giant Big Heat To cure Sediment Soil Box Marsh land Handicraft Things made by hand Different kinds of plants Plants grow almost everywhere in the world. They grow in cold climates of mountain slopes. They grow in hot deserts. They can also grow in river valleys and on ocean bed. They adapt themselves according to a particular environment. As environment differs at different regions, plants also differ in their features. Plants develop special features to adapt themselves to the surroundings. This process is known as adaptation. These adaptations make it very difficult for the plant to survive at a different place. Different plants have different habitations. Let us study about them. The plants have been classified into two categories. Terrestrial plant, aquatic plant, terrestrial plant. The word terrestrial means living on land. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. These plants depend on the type of soil and climate they grow in. These plants may be further divided into following subcategories. Plants in hilly areas. Plants like pine, spruce, fir, and cedar, the other, are examples of coniferous trees. These plants grow in cold and hilly places. They have needle-like leaves which are small in size. They have fewer stomata. The teeth are coated with wax which prevents the loss of water. Instead of flowers, these trees bear cones. The needle-like structure of leaves makes snow slide off easily. These trees do not shed their leaves in winter. Pine tree, spruce tree, plants in marshy areas. These plants grow near the seashore in marshy areas. These places are hot and damp. The trees have adapted several unique characteristics in order to survive in wet and salty conditions of harsh coastal environment. They have thick and juicy leaves to retain water. Since the soil is full of water, the roots grow out of the soil and water to breathe. Such roots are called breathing roots. Roots also provide structural support in high winds and strong wave action. Caryotes and candelia are examples of such trees. Mangrove trees Plants in hot and damp areas Evergreen plants Trees like tea, rubber and coconut do not shed their leaves in winter. These plants have lots of leaves and throughout remain evergreen the year. They are found in tropical rainforest having plenty of moisture and heat. Coconut tree Plants in plains Trees like mango, shisha, people, banyan, and fair have lots of branches. They are found in plains. The leaves change color in autumn and shed the leaves during winter. Mango tree. Plants in desert. Cactus and palm are desert plants. They have no leaves. The lack of leaves helps reduce water loss during photosynthesis. Leaves in such plants are reduced to spines. Spines discourage animals from eating such plants. The green fleshy stem contains chlorophyll and makes food. It also stores food in water. Long root systems spread out wide or go deep into the ground to absorb water. Waxy coating on stems and leaves help reduce water loss. Cactus Factoscope The rose family of plants give us apples, pears, almonds, cherries and plums apart from flowers. Aquatic plants the plants that grow and remain in water are called aquatic plants. They adapt themselves to make their food in water. Floating plants Floating plants are of two types. Those which are rooted with floating leaves like water lily and those which are not rooted in the sediment but just float on the surface like duck weed. Duck weed The green pigment, chlorophyll and stomata are present on the upper surface of the leaf. 
the upper surface often have coating of thick wax substance to repel water. It also helps to keep the stomata open and clear. The plants float because they are either light or small in size. These plants protect small water animals from heat of the sun. Water lily Emergent plants Cattle and iris are plants with lower part often submerged. They have tall and narrow leaves. The stem have tough internal fibers and a hollow structure. This allows them to withstand severe winds without getting damaged. Cattle Totally submerged plants Totally submerged plants are the true water plants. Water starwort, tape grass and pondweed are some plants which come under this category. They are normally supported by water all around them. All the surface cells absorb water, nutrients and dissolved gases directly from the water all around them. Water transport system is poorly developed in these plants. There are no stomata on the leaves. Anchorage is the primary function of roots in such plants. These plants clean the water by removing carbon dioxide breathed out by aquatic animals like fish. That is why we put such plants in aquarium. Pond weed, take grass, some unusual plants, insectivorous plants. Some plants like pitcher plant and Venus flytrap eat insects. They are called insectivorous plants. They are also known as carnivorous plants. Many insectivorous species live in freshwater box. In pitcher plants, prey is allowed to enter the pitcher, a cylindrical modified leaf. As the prey enters, the lid of the pitcher plant is closed. The digestive juices present inside help the plant to digest the prey. An animal trips two or three sensitive trigger hairs present on a Venus fly trap. It causes closing of leaf, lid. Digestive juices present inside helps to digest the prey in three to five days. If no prey is caught, the trap will open within an hour. Pitcher plant, Venus fly trap, ant plants. In tropical habitat, plants and ants have developed a bond. Ants living on a plant attack any animal that touches the plant. Ants make their homes on these plants. Plants of the grass family. Cereal plants like wheat, rice, corn, jar and bajra belong to the grass family of the plant kingdom. The seeds of such plants are edible. Bamboo plants are actually giant grass. Bamboos are some of the fastest growing plants in the world. Soft bamboo shoots, stems and leaves are major food source of the giant panda of China. Bamboo shoots have a high nutritional value and are rich in vitamins, cellulose and amino acids. Bamboo is used in Chinese medicine for treating infections and healing. Bamboo fiber is used to make paper. Bamboo is also used for making furniture baskets and many other handicrafts. Bamboo plant Papyrus plant Plant file 1. Some climber plants are as thick and strong as a rope. Example, liana. 2. Insectivorous plants are green and can carry out photosynthesis. Teachers note, explain to students about different trees and how they grow. Let's summarize. 1. Different kinds of plants are found in different regions. 2. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. They grow in cold areas, marshy areas, coastal areas, plains or deserts. 3. Aquatic plants are ones that grow and remain in water. They can be fully underwater, fixed, free-floating or emergent. 4. Insectivorous plants eat insects to get nutrition. 5. Free-floating plants are not rooted to the soil.